YouTubers F. Jerry Sound here from AndroidTechBlackspot.com. Right now, we are going to be reviewing codename Android ROM using Jelly Bean on your Galaxy S3. The version is 3.6.5, and I would like to first of all thank the whole codename team for making this ROM. Here, you can sign in and get all your Google apps. I will do that later as I want to get to the review first so you can see yourself if you like it or not make yourself at home so customize it the way you want as you can see code name wallpaper really clean look right there so whatever you like you can start doing it rather than people choosing for you this is something that most people prefer these are the application it comes with choose some apps so you can select it and you will put it on desktop if you want and here you go these are the ROM I mean, application it comes with and it has regular ICS launcher in the, this launch you can tap on one widget drag it and drop it and that's how you take with one widget and put it on your home screen or any screen you like And we are going to go ahead and go to system setting about phone and here you will see we are running code name under 3.645 we're running cyanogen mod kernel for code name under 4.1.1 that's your jelly bean now it's smiling at you that's right official we will have official jelly bean soon the only reason you want to run codename Android ROM is all this customization it gives you and it's damn bloody fast yes you're right these are the settings that I was talking about interface performance profiles quiet hours themes launchers then here it has advanced and that's about uh, code name ROM. All the developers, they would like to thank Sanajma team, AOKP, and that's Team OS. So let's go ahead and start on the review, f f beginning from the ROM controls. First of all, interface. Here you can go ahead and press General Interface, and these are the op op options you're going to be given from the phone or from the ROM choose notification background you can choose your custom notification background right here then career label here you can put anything we are going to go ahead and a p p d r o i d s e v e n after a sound press ok and right there you can see it says after sound make sure you go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up for that feature on this one then we can go ahead and have volume key cursor control volume up and down left to right so the way you want depends on all you then here you can have enable kill all button on the recent app so when you press that We don't have any application running in background but if you press it that's when you have recent applications come out and mostly you don't you notice right there kill all button that's well we just got it so I am ES switcher I am E switcher sorry input method selector then hold back to kill of course you won't have that as you can see we are running browser and now didn't work but you might have to re reboot to get that to working we were in general then here you have enable alarm icon on the toggle your al alarm for it to take effect then force tablet 
UI that's tablet user interface the one you see in your net tablets that's if you want and if you want to change your current LCD density density per inch DPI if you want to change that 320 is your regular here is the power menu this is what it looks like and has extended power menu right there again power menu and now you can select status bar toggle it will give you high status bar that's gone can bring it back out and it's back on that's really good if you are doing something that makes the status bar annoying you can get rid of it and profile switcher you can have that on screen set navigation bar toggles so that's what it looks like your power menu just becomes a hybrid oh. it has all these buttons press and you get home now press that you go back to setting so that's how you customize your power menu now we're going to go to status bar right here and here you can put status bar transparency how much you want if you want status bar to be 100% transparent that's how I like it battery icon the way you like I like it center with text so it gives me how many percent I have on there 46% battery bar you can have battery bar status bar right there you can change the color of battery bar I don't like battery bar so I'm just gonna have a hide then charging animations you can change battery bar color all signal layout use alternate signal layout battery bar thickness if you have battery bar clock style I will have it in center as you can see right there then a brevet year day of the week before a time small week this right there Wednesday 11 44 p.m. it doesn't show p.m. but I know it's a night so it's gonna be p.m. then signals textile if you wanna have that's my signal right there it says 4G on top of it you won't see it because the zoom is not that the focus is not on it then you can change signal color so pink there you go 91 I don't know why I just did that I don't even know if it's pink or not but here you can have on again high signal bar then Wi-Fi signal text color signal or text you might want to have text or you want signal one of that and then that's when you change your color right here so notification count if you want how many if you want to know how many notifications you got it will show you have four Facebook pokes three SMS and all that right there on top then now we are at the power notification power widgets you have power widgets right here if you enable it you get widget buttons view or change display buttons widget button order brightness location so this is all for that so you can enable all this I'm just randomly selecting and there you go scrollable then you can have brightness bar location so and it will show you the brightness thing turn off auto you will see it better on the camera I guess then other close drawer on change hide scroll bar or hide haptic then notification toggles the one layout you want that's from AOKP I guess if you want to have that I guess you have to reboot for it to take effect you can have toggles color and all this toggle this is all for your toggle customization so you can see yourself and 
arrange the toggles you want. Now we are at hardware keys. Enable custom hardware action. Custom actions for custom every hardware keys. So here you can select something. So when you press menu, recent app switcher, menu key, open close menu. These are this is where you change the funct function of these buttons. So if you like you can go ahead and play around with that. Lock screen. Again, you can select lock screen background where you wanna have clock, alignment, targets, six to eight target with element, lock screen text color, battery status. You can have display weather, calendar events for your upcoming appointments and stuff. So screen security that's your lock screen and stuff, and slider shortcuts. Then we can go to sound, and here you have different sound options. I'm not gonna go into it because most of the people don't mess around with those display here you can have not all the rotation enable is 0 90 and 270 notif notification light so it's it's gonna be green now you can use various so if you have missed phone call, you want it to have red. Press that. Okay, press okay. Voice mail white. Let's see clock. And these are the notification light that will appear. You can have different application, different colors. So you know what's coming up and what's not. Automatic backlit. That and vol volume rocker wake so if you press volume it will wake up if you enable it let's see 